Hi, and welcome to the demonstration video for DeepChat's Playground. This is a space where you can create and use DeepChat components without writing any code. As a quick disclaimer, we're always adding new features to the DeepChat ecosystem, so certain parts of this video may look different than what's currently live. However, this video should hopefully be enough to get you started with the Playground. Let's get started. First, we'll create a new chat component by clicking on the plus button. When I hover my mouse over the component, you'll see that there's a list of options that appear below it. These allow me to move the component, clone it, delete it, and most importantly, configure it to connect to a service so I can start using it. So let's click on the configure button. We can see that the service settings model has opened up. Now, this model is just a user interface around DeepChat's existing code configuration. So anything that you configure here, you'll be able to add to your DeepChat component in your website. Let's select a service. And I'm going to choose OpenAI. We can also choose from a variety of OpenAI services, such as DALI 2 for images and Whisper for audio. But we'll just stick with chat for this demo. Next, we can insert our OpenAI API key, which I'm going to do right now. It is very important to note that the Playground does not record any data. So when you type in private information like the API key, it stays within the safety of your browser, so you do not have to worry about it being stored or sent anywhere. Now, depending on the service that you choose, you can also add additional optional parameters. But we'll just keep things as default for this demo, although it is important to note that if you don't necessarily know what the parameters are or where to even get the API key, the input labels are actually hyperlinks that allow you to navigate to the relevant information to them. So as an example, if I click on Max Tokens, it opens up a new tab with the relevant documentation. And finally, this model allows us to view our configuration in the form of code, which pretty much simply allows us to copy it over into another website and generate the exact same component there. Although depending on your framework of choice, some of the syntax may need to be changed to suit it. But nevertheless, this is a great start. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the submit button and we can pretty much start using the chatbot. Perfect. As I've previously mentioned, the component can be cloned, we can clear the messages, or reconfigure it to connect to a different service, such as OpenAI DALI for generating images. So I'm going to hit Submit and generate an image of a majestic dog. Now, unfortunately, during this demo, my internet is quite slow, so it may take some time to generate, but hopefully it's quick enough. Perfect, and as we can see, it is absolutely majestic. Now, as well as connecting to popular EA services, we can also pretty much connect to any custom service that is ready to accept DeepChat's request message format. And for that, I'm gonna to refer to the documentation. And to quickly sum it up, it is just a message format that depends on what you are sending. For the sake of this demo, I have already set up a local node service that we can connect to. And I'm going to type in its URL here with a path of chat. Now, to help connect to your server, you can also use other optional parameters. But for this demo, we don't necessarily need to, so we'll just hit submit and try it out. Finally, depending on the amount of components that you add, things may get a little cluttered. So to help mitigate that, you can switch between a panorama and a grid view to help arrange the components in a way that you prefer. This pretty much sums up the demo. Make sure to check out our GitHub repo for more information and latest updates. Thanks for watching.